Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. Your issue said that you were having trouble copying from the FT3D file that you already have to the new FTM400 file that you want to work with. We're going to do some groundwork first, and then we'll do the copy and paste and get you a file that's ready to go to the radio. We have the FTM400 programmer, the default file with one frequency on A band and one frequency on B band. This is a major difference between these two radios. And of course, the first thing you do is your communication and your get data from or read from SD card, whichever you're using to identify your radio to the programmer. Just have to do it once. But this is a new radio, a new installation, and you have to do it once. So with that done, let's go to the FT3D programmer. And notice down here at the bottom, we have one bucket of memories. Now, depends on how you want them organized in your FTM 400. Well, let's just start with getting them over there. I click on the P1, I press Control A for all, Control C for copy. I know, it doesn't look like it does anything. And I click the number one here so it knows where it's going to land, and I press Control V like Victor. And if I want the same thing on A and B, I do it again on the B band. A band, B band, generally top and bottom. If you don't want them the same, don't make them the same. If you want two meters on the top and 440 on the bottom, use the sort commands and delete what you don't want. There are lots of ways to get the data organized the way you want it. We matched likes and, and throughout differences. The other big difference you have here is banks. While there are banks in the FT3D, there are no banks in the FTM400. The best you can do if you have banked your channels is put one bank on bank A and put another bank on bank B. That's the only way you're going to get that organization. Remember settings, radio menu settings, be sure your call sign is filled in, your call sign. Customize as you want in all your tabs here. If you're not sure, leave defaults. This will either be close and the option will be apply settings and close or it will be File and Save, and then File and Exit. The program works two different ways depending on an option setting. File, Save As, and wherever you want to save it. Communication, Send Data to Radio for the Cable. Read, uh, I'm sorry, Write Data to SD Card for the SD Card. And remember, if you're on Windows 11, the SCU20 may not show up here, or it will show up and say that it's no longer supported. The SCU20 that was a part of the packaging for the FTM400 for years does not work on Windows 11 and some versions of Windows 10. So you may have lost functionality of your cable. SD card is the best way to go. Or there are other cables available, especially the USB 77 from RT Systems, which we know works on Windows 11. So that's some things to look at 
for getting SIN data. You didn't say anything about that, but I wanted to make sure you were forewarned. You see how the copy and paste works. Hopefully I covered the issue. And if not, send an email and we'll do a connection and I will work with you right there on your computer. Hope this helps. 73s, have a wonderful evening. Bye.